What's up guys? It is Jones Gold here coming at you with my first video on this channel. My main channel, which is Kay Jones. Um, I posted a lot of my gold reviews and things like that. And I realized that it was kind of like a melting pot of different videos. So I decided just to make a channel focused on gold jewelry or just gold in general. Um, Cause it's a passion of mine and a big hobby. So I got this new piece here. It is from 9999 Gold Jewelry, and I believe they're in Minnesota. I wanted to try them out. It is 24 karat gold. Um, it is stamped on the clasp and also on the necklace, which is cool. And I'll show you all some close-ups. It's super nice. I love it. I wanted something that I could just slide over my head which I'll show y'all, I guess. La, 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 la. But it's um, 22.5 inches. So basically it's the exact size it needs to fit over my head. And it's pretty tight to pull over my head because I didn't want it to like fall off easily or anything like that. But um, perhaps I can show y'all up close what it looks like. It's just absolutely beautiful. Um, I've heard really good things about 999 gold jewelry in Minnesota. Um, I'm pretty sure they just buy from Asia, like Thailand. And most Thai gold is 96.5% gold. You can see my bracelet is that. You can see maybe the color difference here. Um, but this is 24 karat. They can, I think they can make anything in any gold uh, carrot you want um, so the obviously they get their labor overseas and that gives them the ability to make a profit selling it here um, I really like Monet's change chains excuse me Monet is where I bought my rings but the problem with them is like their clasp have these really tiny loops of 24 karat gold and see how these are really large um, and they just bend over time. I mean, they're these thin, tiny clasps that you put your lobster clasp on. And it's like, this is 24 karat gold. It, that thing will snap like that and you'll lose that chain. Um, I think the only chain that is not like that is their, um, the thickest one they have. And it's more like a loop through. Um, and I just don't want that large of a chain, you know? Um, so I thought this was really beautiful. So my daily wear is this honker. Um, you're going to see a color difference for multiple reasons. This is from Daniel Jewelry Inc. And I have a review on my other channel on it. So there are different cuts in this 24 karat gold. It's not a flat profile like this one is. And also um, this one actually has a, it's dipped. So although it's been XRF machine tested to be 24 karat gold, um, they dip it, which gives it protection. And actually, if I show you close-ups of this chain, you will see the dip coming off. And the underneath um, color is a little bit more like this, although they're very close. Um, so it's very interesting how the different cuts and everything in a chain can reflect off the light differently and also kind of give a different hue. It's the same color, just different saturation, hue, and you know, the lighting and how it bounces off. So that's really cool. I didn't really primarily to get this chain to wear with this one, although my Miami Cuban, I just like haven't taken off. Um, I wanted a more, I would say delicate, dainty piece. For most people, this is not considered dainty. It's four millimeters or 3.9 millimeters, almost four millimeters. And um, this is not dainty. Like this is a pretty good size change. It's 60 grams. What I love is the clasp. So this clasp will wear down over time if you take it off every day. I don't take off my bracelet. And the great thing about this is it fits over my head. I did that on purpose. Um, 20 inches is my favorite length, which is for my Miami Cuban, but you have to, you can't fit it over your head. And so you're always opening the clasp. And 24 karat gold is over time, if you're doing that every day, it will, you know, the metal will wear down way faster than lower purities, which is 
probably why some people steer clear of 24 karat gold. They just don't want to have to deal with that. So the quality is incredible. Um, the price I paid was about the same I would pay from Monet because I didn't have to pay taxes. I did a direct payment to their account. Um, and it was around the same price as Monet and just in my opinion, not necessarily better quality, I'd say better build when it comes to the clasp. I mean, that's a pretty thick connection and it's pretty secure and I just feel a lot better about it. Um, so they did a stamp here. I don't know if y'all can see that. And then they did a stamp also on the clasp itself, which I thought was really interesting. I don't know if that will show up on camera, but let's go ahead and put this on. So this, look at this, you can wear it as a headband, yo. Yeah, man. Gucci gang. Just wear this as a headband. Not bad, right? No, I'm just kidding. Um, when I wear a ponytail, I actually have a really hard time getting this on because it catches on my tail back here, but we're going to make it work anyway. Ugh. All right. So I wanted it to be not too loose to come off because if I do go swimming or something, in the pool or whatever I don't want it just to come off right if I will be bend over I don't want to just fall off my head so this is that longer cut don't get excited here guys <laughs> you ain't gonna see nothing but I did want to show them uh kind of together um so I know uh, I was thinking about uh, how can I show them together but with the outfit I'm wearing so funny so they don't I don't love particularly the look together I don't think it's bad. I think it's really showy because I already have such a thick chain on, you know? So, I mean, I feel like that's pretty, that's pretty gangsta, you know? Two chains. If it was a 21.5, so it does go lower. I have it in a different position. It goes all the way down here. If it was a 21.5, it would sit really good. A chain like this is also really great for pendants, so if I ever wanted a pendant, it's a good option for that, where the Miami Cuban is a more standalone piece. So, these are them together. You know, I can't decide if I like it or not. Like, almost, it's so out there that I really love it. <laughs> That's the funny thing. So, let's look at it together, or by itself. If we just put the Miami Cuban up here as like a choker and pretend it's not there it's really beautiful you know um and not just that it's a pretty masculine piece too i'm the kind of person who prefers a very very masculine type jewelry i don't even wear earrings that could change one day of course i'm talking for everyday wear so that's it by itself if you're curious how the cuban looks by itself i might as well just show you since you're on the video it looks nice in different ways they sit differently but um so for today, I just hid them under my shirt at work. Um, I wear these chains for me, for me, not really to show off, but I always do like that side neck, like how if people are really looking and they're like trying to really see what's going on, they can, but otherwise it's a pretty humble dress, I would say. But if I really want something out, I can put this out because with this particular outfit, the Miami Cuban would look kind of weird. But I, I wore both today. Um, it's like almost 200 grams of gold on my neck and it wasn't too heavy. I mean, I didn't really have a problem. So, but I just wanted to kind of show that piece. I love the quality. I think it's fantastic. Um, the clasp is secure and it kind of lets y'all know what it looks like. This is an anchor chain. I think these were really popular in the 70s. Um, whenever people were getting drafted and whatnot. I don't know if it was Vietnam. I don't know. I just he heard stories of people in the military. The anchor chain was like the thing everyone wanted to get overseas. Um, don't take that with, take that with a grain of salt because I'm not hundred percent sure. And then many people, when they think anchor chain, they think of the Mariner. This is not a Mariner. And if you consider that to be the traditional anchor chain, then I guess you could call this a cable chain. Let me take this off one more time and y'all can get the amusement of seeing me take it off. Um, so the links kind of just fall like this, as you can see. And you put it in your hand and it just falls like that. And that's what it looks like in my hand. So, you know, they're really flexible links. 
um, very different. And this chain is so different and unique from the Miami Cuban, I thought it would be a go. Um, I don't feel like it's definitely not a feminine chain, but I don't feel like it's as freaking boss, <laughs> masculinity screaming out like the Miami Cuban, you know? I think that this is a really great unisex chain. In fact, I think more men would wear this than women, just because that's kind of my style and what I like. But um, nevertheless, I do think a lovely lady could rock the four millimeter. Um, it's a great size. It's a great size. I feel like it's big enough to where it won't break as 24 karat, but it's not big and in, in ridiculous. So um, I, I reached out, we'll just do, we'll just headband it, you know? I reached out to them on Facebook and uh, that's how I got in contact. They'll answer your questions in DMs, not really comments on posts they won't answer, but... <sighs> Dude, this thing is like the perfect fit. I'm not stretching at all. It at all either. I'm just kind of like letting it fall, you know, but it takes time to go around all the crevices and whatnot. Anyway, I hope y'all liked this video. 999 Gold Jewelry. Y'all did fantastic. I think it's great. By the way, this channel is not just for 24 karat gold. That's just what I have in my collection. But I appreciate all metallurgy and pieces. So, you know, I'm all about that. And I do have some 10 karat pieces and things like that. 18 karat and things like that. My mom's or especially my grandmother's jewelry collection. My 90 year old grandma, her jewelry collection of... 10 karat, 14 karat, and 18 karat gold is insane. And I would love to show it on this channel one day. So thanks for watching guys. And I hope you enjoyed. Cheers.